Well, they do, James, as opposed to nesting elsewhere. The wood is their best place to go. And hoopies are one of the strangest birds. They've got this odd-shaped head with that big crest and long beak. And you'll find this beautiful kind of orangey, rusty color. Now, this particular one looks like it might be a female. Females tend to get a washed kind of gray chest where the males don't get. The males tend to be a lot brighter than that on the front area, although it's difficult to say, it's really difficult to sex them unless they're sitting next to one another and one looks slightly brighter than the other. Now normally you'll find them in a pair around, so I'm trying to see if I can't see another one, but it seems that it's just this guy, and you can see how well they actually camouflage, particularly in these autumn times, when the leaves start to go shades of yellows and oranges, these guys actually blend in really, really well. And the name Hoopoo comes from the noise that they make, when they call, they basically say, hoopoo, 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 and that's where the name comes from. Now, they are ferocious insect hunters. They'll go after anything that is burrowing in the ground, so crickets and locusts and those kind of things, they'll go after, and then also even into wood. Every now and then they'll find them pulling out wood boring beetles. They'll feed off areas where woodpeckers have made holes. Um, they'll go into sort of rotten wood where there's bits of bark that are starting to loosen and feed off any sort of grubs and things that are inside there. And that's why such a long recurve beak like that to be able to find the food that they need. But certainly give himself a very good groom this morning, or herself should I say. Now let's see if it'll put its crest up. When they put their crest up, oh, it's a bit of yoga right there. I don't know if you saw that, but her foot was over the back of her head. And many a yoga... There we go. So many a yoga person would be impressed with that maneuver. I wonder if any of our camp, there's a few girls that like to do yoga, if any of them can put their feet over the back of their head. Certainly is grooming with much vigor this morning. It seems like it's really on a mission to make sure that it is the cleanest, most beautiful bird out in the African bush today.